how much? In this video, we're going to take our motor home for an oil and filter service. How exciting can we make that sound? Well, we can't. But please stay tuned as we'll be discussing prices and some additional service work that these vehicles actually require. That was interesting. Coffee first. In this little video folks, I just want to discuss the costs of having an oil and filter change done at a Fiat Professional main dealer. Now this oil and filter change, as discussed in this video here, is actually meant to be done every year, even though the service intervals on a Fiat Ducato motorhome is 30,000 miles or two years. Fiat recommends having the oil and filter done every 12 months if your vehicle is not covering that many miles. And of course, for a lot of motorhomes, they're not covering a lot of miles. And I guess oil obviously degrades over time. So it is, it is something that you need to consider to have done. What I didn't appreciate, because I'm happy to admit on camera, I'm a little bit naive, is I walked into the Fiat Professional dealership this morning as, I guess, a naive car owner, thinking that that oil and filter change would cost maybe £110 or £120. Oh, no, not £110 or £120. So as I will show you on screen now, the actual cost that we paid today, and I will go down the breakdown because hopefully the breakdown of the prices makes it sound a little bit better or a little bit more worthwhile. We've got at the top a miscellaneous mechanic which will be of course the labor charge of 136 pounds and 50 pence that's an amazing amount of labor charge for an oil and filter change we then have a ceiling gasket which is understandable at three pounds 62 all these are before that of course we have an oil filter at 15 pounds 06 and then we have i guess six liters of Fiat's finest oil now I do appreciate other makes of oil are available but of course this is the oil that Fiat would recommend and that comes in at 45 pounds and 48 pence so the total bill for today's little trip has actually come out at a staggering 240 pounds now you may be watching that video and thinking that's a disgusting amount of money for an oil and filter change you may be watching the video and thinking well it's a commercial vehicle you need to expect to pay more expensive prices i guess i am the former of those two i am a little bit surprised that it's coming at 240 pounds and i know for a fact that i could get it done cheaper at a local uh, at a local garage a garage i have yet to find but i i think i will be finding one for the next service or the main service on our fiat ducato motorhome now, of course, to make sure that there are no issues with the warranty should i ever actually have to have anything done to the van Although it's only a two-year warranty on a Fiat Ducato chassis cab, we would want to make sure that the oil and filter is done. But you're still not obliged, of course, to have it done at a Fiat professional main dealer. You can have it done pretty much anywhere you want. The only requirements I would suggest that you make sure that you do is that you make sure that the items that they fit, so obviously the filter, the, the oil sump gasket, and the oil itself are of the quality or the make that Fiat recommends. Also, of course, that the place that you're using is VAT registered rather than just doing it on your own drive. Then you shouldn't really technically have any issue with the warranty. But as I say, I drove into Fiat Professional in Derby this morning, a little bit naive, expecting the bill to be maybe £130, £140, something like that, and was quite astounded to be quoted £240. Now, of course, I could have left the dealership and got it done another day somewhere else, but I got it done it's done we paid the money i won't cry over it even if it sounds like i'm moaning a little bit about it 
and we move on. But what I will be doing, folks, is when we get to the first service that's due on this motorhome, I will be finding a good independent dealer. And I would be surprised if it costs much more than that to have the actual service done rather than just an oil and filter. Before we go, folks, and when I say folks, I'm aware that a few of you seem to pick up on the fact that I say folks quite a lot. I don't know why I say folks quite a lot. It's just something that I seem to do and will no doubt continue to do. In fact, I know a person that lives not too far from me that watches our channel actually plays play something called folks bingo. Well, today, you better get the numbers higher because I think the word folks is going to be used quite a lot. Anyway, back to the serious stuff. In this video, when we had the VW T6 camper van from Camper King, I discussed the the costs and, and the sort of shock of the amount of times that the VW Transport T6, and I guess the T6.1, requires a cam belt change, and at the same time they recommend a water pump change. Well, the cam belt change is actually due every four years on a VW Transporter. And at the time when I filmed that video, I remember mentioning that the Ford Transit has a requirement of every 10 years, which for me felt a bit more logical. Well, shock horror, the Fiat Ducato also has a cam belt that needs to be changed more often than 10 years. And again, Fiat recommend that at the same time you get the water pump replaced. So why change the water pump, you may say? Well, because the water pump, if it were to seize, will actually snap the cam belt, whether it's a new cam belt or not. So they recommend that at the same time you get the cam belt done, you get the water pump done. And I kind of get that. That's absolutely fine. But it does need to be done on a Fiat Ducato motorhome every five years or 90,000 miles. And what's the cost, you may ask? Well, I thought while I was at Fiat Professional this morning, I would ask that question. And I have the answer. It's quite expensive. Now, I haven't got a calculator with me, so I'm not going to try and add 20% back. So these prices are before VAT. I'll put at the bottom of the video what that equates to at the time of filming this video, if you add or include the VAT. So for the cam belt change, it comes in at £474 plus VAT. Now, if I remember rightly, on the transporter, it wasn't much more than that to have the cam belt and the water pump done. Well, unfortunately, the water pump is quite a bit extra again. £296 plus VAT for a water pump change. And this is every five years. I think it is absolutely safe to say, folks, that... My camper van in motorhoming is certainly not a cheap way to travel. It's a lifestyle choice. We enjoy it. We've made that choice. No one twisted our arm. My arm is not up my back to do anything to do with van life. We appreciate that the costs are what they are. But I guess what I'm saying is on the overall cost of running, a, well, or the overall cost of buying and running a motorhome, this is just an additional cost that you need to be aware of. And obviously to look after your vehicle, you certainly will want to get your cam belt done every five years and probably the water pump at the same time. So that's it really, folks. There's another folks there, isn't there? If you found this video informative, as always, please consider giving it the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, why aren't you subscribed to our channel? It's absolutely free to be subscribed to our channel. I'll put a link at the end of this video to do just that. See you soon.